Well, protesters staying true to those core demands that came out of the chop. More on that in just a little bit. They started at that juvenile justice facility and ended here at City Hall, only clearing out about uh, within the last hour. Their message is clear. They want the department defunded. <laughs> Protesters gathered by the hundreds outside a juvenile detention center construction site, a project that's become a symbol for the change they say is needed. Because the fights to defund SPD and to close the youth jail are connected. Protesters holding strong to a handful of core demands born out of the so-called CHOP. They want a 50% cut of Seattle's police budget, want that money redirected to social services. Council members will start taking votes today to defund what's left of SPD's 2020 budget and we need to make sure they vote the right way. A march that started at the Justice Center and moved to Seattle City Hall. Protesters that have been relentless. This was the scene last night as a group took the march to Council Member Deborah Juarez's neighborhood. Sunday, protesters showed up to Chief Carmen Best's Snohomish County home. We still need to make sure that they follow through, right? Pressure they say they'll continue to put on the mayor and council until a final vote, which could come later this month. I feel like there's so much more conversation and people, there's no more like, ooh, Black Lives Matter, what does that mean? What is that, you know, all that stuff. I think like people are starting to get it. And I think even my son is feeling like, you know, there might be some revolution in the air. The call for change that echoed outside City Hall. Though the decision to make a change will come from inside these walls. Protesters organizing under the name EDM every day march. They hope to keep up this same energy, not just until they have the votes required, but until the mayor and the chief enact those cuts. Their next march is scheduled for tomorrow at 8 in the morning. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.